What does the word deacon mean? Well, in our English Bibles, we often will see words in the New Testament translated servant or service or minister or ministry. And often it's the same Greek word as that that is translated in a couple of places, deacon. So how do we know when the biblical authors are referring to all Christians called to be deacons in the sense of being servant-hearted people, and when they're referring to the formal church office of deacon in the New Testament church. Well, I think one of the important things to bear in mind is that a deacon, as in, as in an officially recognized church officer, is really just a model exemplary servant who has been formally recognized by a congregation and deployed to assist the elders by doing, I think, three main things, spotting and meeting tangible needs, protecting and promoting church unity, and serving and supporting the ministry of the elders. Now, there's a lot of room for flexibility and application beneath that broad, those broad categories, but deacons are not superstar Christians. Deacons are just faithful servants that can organize and mobilize service in practical ways. And Jesus is the ultimate deacon in this sense. If, if we render the Greek literally, we read verses like Mark 10, 45, for the Son of Man did not come to be deaconed, but to deacon and to give his life as a ransom for many. So to the degree that the deacons in your church are executing the vision of the elders with humility and fortitude and joy, they are reflecting not just the biblical qualifications for the office, they are reflecting the suffering servant and the king of the universe himself.